everybody and welcome back to another video my name is Arlisa J if you are new here please take a moment to hit that subscribe button I'll wait so yes guys we are on the road to 500 subscribers I say it every time because it's gonna happen I'm speaking it into existence it is happening so I'm excited I'm trying to grow this channel to 500 subscribers by the end of this month so guys if you're not subscribed please subscribe and please watch the end of the video and also comment and like that helps me out but guys it is Friday I'm out here looking a mess you know what no I'm not out here looking a mess I'm looking beautiful I'm looking natural I don't know why people be like, I'm out here looking a mess. I'm out here looking at a mess. You don't look a mess. You are not beautiful because you have on makeup. You're beautiful because cause you're amazing just the way you are. Yes, natural beauty is the best beauty. So yeah, I'm out here looking amazing. I have a few things to do to start off my weekend. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is go to Starbucks. So Without further ado, we going to Starbucks. At the Starbucks, I have to go get my nails done. Um, I am starting this challenge, um, save $10,000 in 100 days. I seen it on TikTok, so I'ma do it. I'ma do it, I'ma do it. Granted, it's a lot of envelopes that I got a number and all that. I'm not a big saver. My husband, my husband, oh my God, like, we have what we have because of him. Because uh, if it was up to me and dealing with the finances, whoop, girl, I would be, um, I'm not disciplined enough, you know? But he really, really balances me out because girl, y'all, we would not be where we are financially, spiritually, or whateverly without his knowledge. Granted, no, dating somebody older they should have experience in a lot of things but you know I don't know it depends these days but my husband he's 43 and he has so much experience so much knowledge and I'm just so blessed to be a part of that knowledge but yeah um I'm doing that challenge I'm excited about it I told him he was like all right be consistent so I'm, I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it. So not only am I saving in our other account, I'm gonna save this one like in a separate account. So I can be, oh no, you don't save it in a, in a separate account. You save it in like a box. Like, cause you're dealing with cash. So I don't have a lot of cash. So what I'm gonna have to do is um, like go to the bank weekly to put it in there. But yeah, I'm gonna see how I'm gonna do it. But I'm gonna go to Target and get um, the envelopes. And I'm going to get the highlighters. I'm going to make it look cute and interesting. That motivates me. That really motivates me. I like stuff like that. But yeah, guys, we are in the Starbucks line. I'm going to try a new drink. I'm going to try the vanilla chai latte. I'm going to try that. I'm a mocha girl. I'm a, I'm in a mocha girl. I'm a matcha, la, ma, matcha latte. Matcha tea girl. I make that at home. I have not perfected, but it's really good when I make it. So I'm gonna try vanilla. I'm gonna try a vanilla chai latte. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. So I'm gonna be back at you. This line is long, y'all. Try to um like I'm trying to be good and not be so like spending so much. Just because you got money that don't mean that you gotta spend it. Like why are we accustomed to think that we need to spend money because we got money? Like, keep the money. Build a build a legacy. Build something. I don't know. I don't know. Build something. Invest in your children's education. I don't know because all the Gucci, all the Louis, like all that stuff will pass away. But like, I love Gucci and Louis. When my husband buy me that stuff, I'm happy. But at the end of the at the end of the up uh, y'all at the end of the day it is stuff and you be like oh i got me a gucci purse oh my god i just spent two thousand dollars on this purse like what 
what could I've done with that two thousand? Not saying that having nice things is not good because it's amazing. Because I love my um, my windows is dirty. I love my um, my purses and stuff, and my shoes and stuff, my Gucci stuff. But I'm learning to put that money other places because Gucci and Louis is already rich. Make me a millionaire. But um, I try to not get my nails done y'all i tried to cut that expense but i don't think i can because the press-ons are not working for me i clean so much i work like with my hands with the computer with typing like them them things it's like a waste of my time like i put them on and they pop right off i ain't got time for that like i don't have time for the press-on stuff so i'm gonna try this thing today called gelex if you try to let me know if you like it but gel x is something that i'm gonna try um yeah because i need my nails i need my nails and i bite my nails so that that is what's making it making it look really bad but yeah yeah i'm in the style of mine hi can i have a, a vanilla chai latte please what size is this vanilla chai grande is it hot or ice? I'm hot. Okay, what else? That would do. Your name? Lisa. It's going to be 605. We'll see you at the window. All right, yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. He came on that speaker a little, um, not nice. I don't even know what time my nail appointment is. She told me that she may have a 10 o'clock available, but, um, I'm just gonna be there at 10 because if she can't do it then somebody else is gonna do it because the nail shop is a full-time job like I, I get my girl look at my skin I my skin is doing good I'm so proud of myself I'm living in my soda and drinking more water so I see it I see it I see it it's, it's doing better um what was I saying yeah, if she's not available at 10, uh, uh, the nail salon is a full-time job. Like, I get my feet done year-round. I get my feet done year-round. I'm not one of them girls that be like, I'm only getting my feet done in the summertime. I'm not doing that. But the nail shop is a full-time job. Like, you be in there eight hours. That's how what I be feeling like. Like, it's so draining. Step after step after step after step. But, yeah, I'm going to let y'all know how this vanilla chai latte tastes. So, I be... I'll be back. I'm gonna let y'all taste. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all know what it tastes like. Um, latte. I mean, that chai tea is good. This is really good. This is a vanilla chai latte. TikTok is introducing me to a lot of drinks. I'm telling you, because I don't, I don't like Starbucks. I don't even know how much. If this drink was like eight dollars like i'm gonna buy me an espresso i don't know how to use it but i have a keurig but i'm gonna buy an espresso if you have an espresso tell me what you like about it because i'm always at starbucks and i can make this at home so yeah we have an espresso let me know i'm on my way to the nail shop now i want to go to trader joe's this weekend so i'm going to um beg my husband to take me to Trader Joe's. We don't have a Trader Joe's down here. We have one in Richmond. So, yeah. Hello, everybody. It is another day. We left off yesterday. Yesterday. I don't know what we were doing, but we left off yesterday. Today is Saturday. It is about 1.13. We are going... Y'all, it's gonna be an interesting vlog. But 
Yeah, so I'm gonna go get her juicer now. Cause you got all these shoes from Gucci, but you don't know the name of the shoes. It's the same thing. Okay. Like, you don't know the um. Yeah, it's cold out here. But um, yeah. So it's I'm going. Cold outside. I'm going. Richard, you're not gonna do this. It's cold out here, so I want. I want to juice. I want to start juicing because I am trying to lose some weight. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So yesterday, I think I left my. I left this vlog with getting my nails done. I think. I think I was getting my nails done. Yeah. Just my nails. I got a um. I got, can y'all? I got a, it was. The best nail she ever got. I don't like them. The girl who did them the was nails so seen sweet. I loved her. Like, oh my God. We got, we exchanged numbers and everything. She was amazing. But she did a great job on my nails. I just don't like. It's called, um, Gel X or something. I don't know. These were $120 for Gel X. And I don't like them. I, would ra I was rather off getting the the tip. I don't like them. It's like the whole nail. But, I mean, they're cute. But, I I don't know. I don't know. So, I'm going to keep these. Because I'm not wasting my money. But, next month. Uh, oh, what? What you guys say? What you guys say tomorrow? We're going to Walmart to look for a product. So yeah, that's the plan. That's the vibe. It's dreary and it's cold, but we still, but we still out here. Yeah, 
Yeah, so that's not there. It is, boo. Look, right there. The, the, the life for it. Oh. Uh -huh. Who said, look, somebody said products don't fuss the bank. What? Master P said, I'd rather have product because product don't fuss back. You ain't got to worry about product. You know you know how you have issues with people with business and everything. You got a product, you know what I'm saying? You got to worry about mm -hmm. business on the shelf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're on the way to Trader Joe's finally. We were in Walmart picking up some snacks and stuff and Richard needed a scale for his dog's food like when i tell you he going in when it come down to this dog <laughs> measure her food like i mean i don't know about that but um yeah me and richard was in walmart and we were having a conversation about being a king's kid and i told him i was like sometimes i like to get paper plates because when i don't feel like washing dishes I'm gonna get a paper plate and serve the food there so I can clean the kitchen and sit down. And I was like, I've never used paper plates before because when I serve, you're supposed to serve on regular, you know, like utensils. China utensils, China. yeah. Because your husband is a king kid. You should, I mean, a king. You should never serve your husband out of a paper plate, like because he's a king. So we were talking about that. So when we get out of Crumble Cookie, we're going to finish the conversation. So I got my cookie. <laughs> Y'all, these cookies are $6 for one cookie. One cookie is $6. Like, why? And I told them light frosting. Please don't put all that frosting on my cookie. Mmm, 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 mm. You want some? You ain't want a cookie? You want to try it? So we were talking about um, not serving your husband on a paper plate. It's a form of disrespect. So Richard, what were you saying? Mmm, I still got more. I was saying... Well, you were saying because you are a king's kid or something, you know uh, you don't eat our paper plate. You don't eat our paper plates or something mm -hmm. like that. But uh, what you eat off of enough uh, that has nothing to do with you being a king's kid. Like right? number one, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who was the the child of his father, you know, Jehovah, was born lowly. He was born in a manger. He, he he wasn't when when he came on this earth. It was lowly. It wasn't that no extravagance or nothing like that. Um, he, the perfect man, the perfect son of God, um, and then he had nowhere to lay his head in his whole earthly ministry, his whole earthly life. So, uh, uh, yeah, not I'm not saying that uh, you need to be poor because you're a Christian or whatever. Just because Jesus had nowhere to lay his head and he was born lowly in the manger. My point is that just because you are, what you have and how you eat and what you eat on has nothing to do with being a king's kid. And every place that I see that, all the churches that I see that talk about being a king's kid, uh, they don't act like king's kids. <laughs> it's no love there. It's division there. It's all that. And what I'm saying is about they don't act like a king's kid. They don't look like a king's kid. They don't look like the person who they say their father is. Just like like I gave an analogy, you know, about Chevelle looks like Alisa. So that she bears her image. So when you look at Chevelle, you can tell that, that that's a child. Uh, that's that's her son. But when you look at a Christian, a so-called Christian, can you see that they are a child of God by their how they act? Are they living in holiness? Just like if Paul says in Romans chapter 8, verse 29, he was like, we're being conformed into the image of Christ. He also said it in 2 Corinthians chapter 3. So do you look like your father? Do you do you do you walk in love? Do you are you living in holiness? You know what I'm saying? Are you a true Christian? That's how, that's what being a king's kid is. Do you bear his image? You know, 
does, does this Holy Spirit live in you? Can people look at you and see you a king's kid? But it, are you a Christian? They can look and say, that's a Christian. When they say they can look and see that you are a Christian, you are a king's kid. You're not no king's kid based on what you eat off or nothing like that. That's not even scriptural or nothing. And the term king's kid is not even scriptural. But if you want to use it like that, do you look like your father? You can say it's, you can say it's scriptural because Paul said we are being transformed into his image. So do you look like your father? Do you bear his image? Are you a true Christian? Can people see that you are a true Christian? They, they can tell you love God. Can they tell you have love for your fellow man? Can they tell you live in holiness? Can they tell you know you about the Father's business as far as you know his kingdom? You know what I'm saying? That's what a king's kid would be biblically, not what you eat on. Like that's like pride and arrogance right there. If you prefer to eat off, if you don't want to eat off a paper plate, that's what you don't want to do. But it ain't, I mean, I'm pretty sure Jesus Christ, they had nowhere to lay his head, you know, they ain't, you know, didn't have all that. And Paul, even he says in the scriptures how he was, you know, was poor and all that, all the struggles he had. Now, not, I'm not, again, I'm not saying that you, okay, be poor and everything. I'm just saying your social status and all that has nothing to do with Christianity. That's, that's Americanized Christianity because you go over there in China, they have underground churches. They have to meet in secret to go to church because they will be killed. Mm -hmm. Places like Saudi Arabia, people that life is on the line if, for to be a Christian. All of this Americanized gospel that we be saying to ourselves will not work. We can't go preach that to there. So, because it's not going to work. The gospel works everywhere. The true gospel works everywhere. But this Americanized gospel does not work everywhere. It only works in America because we are the richest nation in the world. So the so the concept of eating all paper plates, whatever. You go to Africa, those poor countries, or whatever. Ain't nobody worrying about what kind of place they live or they eating off of. About the king's kids, like it don't make sense. It's not scriptural. And like I said, everybody that says that when those congregations is a lot of division, no love. People always say, you know, they're unapproachable. Cause don't treat me this way, cause I'm a king's kid. <laughs> it's nothing special about you. As far as you know, all your fitness is. All your um, license is filthy rags, so it's, it's all about Jesus. Yeah. It's all about Jesus, not you. So that's, you know, nip that in the bud. Yeah, so that's what he was telling me at Walmart. Like, we were, um, it was crazy because we were shopping for things, but we were talking about it because I had brought the paper plate situation up, but... Yeah, that's some good insight. How many people do you know that say they king's key, but they don't even look like the, their father? They don't resemble, resemble his Im image or nothing. It's just as hateful and that, all that. But they say, I'm a king's key, and they say it, in, in, but they got so much pride. You know, pride comes before a fall, and that was the first sin Satan committed and was kicked out of heaven. So we make a lot of slogans and stuff that's not even scriptural, and we just say all these things. So we really think about it. I, I missed that. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's some good insight because I straight, um, you know, my previous church that I went to, they, you know, did some, you know, kind of off the wall stuff. But one thing I was taught well is to be a wife. Yeah. And they taught me how to be a wife and they taught me what my husband um, deserved or or should get or that's that good. like the man of the that's house good. like the provider of the house if you, like you should not approach him any type of way they yeah. even taught me when your husband get home from work don't just automatically go to him with a whole bunch of problems let him settle down let him get himself together and then say hey is this a good time to talk okay, about but if something? you if you don't prefer he said i don't want to eat all paper plate okay okay but it has nothing to do with christianity or being a king's kid that's what you prefer right and that's but what you want to put in your mind if you want to live in that delusion that's fine but the way that i said it was but if is the way you treat your love okay don't come and 
every husband is different. Right. Every right. every demand, dynamic is different. Right. The way they every time they preach, they always preaching to the woman. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do this. Mm -hmm. Everything is good to the woman. What she shouldn't do. Right. And like they gotta really kind of put his, her husband on a put her husband on a such so called pedestal. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. At the end of the day. Uh, the husband is the head of the wife, but they are still equal. Head, they the head, but they still are equal. Mm -hmm. No, no, none is better than the other. Everything has order, but they make it like you gotta kiss the ground he walk on or something like that. Well, you you know he's supposed to, he's do they tell you he's supposed to love you as Christ loved the church though? Because if he don't, his prayers will be hindered. As it says in Peter. Wow, we need to do a vlog. So we just like we need to do a vlog. Everything like is always geared to the woman. Don't do this. Don't. Um, are you? When are you gonna get on the men though? Wow, we are going to do. Don't talk no more, boo, because we gotta do a segment about that. That's don't get, a topic. I don't got um riled up, but I'm gonna see that. <laughs> he said he done got. We about to go to this. Uh, oh, maybe going up to Washington. Um. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll see y'all at Trader Joe's before he keep going. <laughs>
fiber fungi. I got this. Um, I watched Brittany, Brittany Johnson. She cooked this on her YouTube channel, so I got that. Uh, I got these. These are chicken pot stickers. When I go to PF Chains, I love their pot stickers, so I want to try that. I got this for my hubby. Hey! I got this for my husband, Atlantic salmon, for him to like eat with toast or something, and avocado and an egg. The kids love, love, love these. So I got two of these. The kids absolutely love these. I got, so I watched Shelly Johnson. I'm sorry, that girl, your favorite YouTuber, Shelly. She had these from Trader Joe's, and she said that they were really, really, really 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 good really good and hubby loves tacos he loves mexican type of food so we got these um gluten-free tacos from trader joe's and yes and i wanted to show you guys my pots and pans that i got too this is the pot and pan set i got yes so this is the young lady that I was talking about. I have her crock pot and I have her air fryer. So I'm excited to unbox this. Joe's. <laughs> all of this, all of this. 